Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be updating the Citra Emulator video. To those of you who are familiar with this channel, the Citra Emulator video that I have and is doing very well has gotten pretty old now, and some new Citra Emulator builds has come out since that time. So I thought it'd be a good idea to update the Citra emulator video and get it working fully as it should. So today we're going to be doing that. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to need are the Citra emulator builds. We're going to be building upon the nightly builds, which just came out recently. You're going to need to go over to the Citra emulator website and download it. Those of which all the links you can find down in the description below. So check those links and get to downloading. Once you've downloaded the new Citra emulator builds, you're gonna then install the builds. But before you install it, you're gonna make sure that you have Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable 2015. Without this, your Citra emulator will not work because it will not have the required DLL or deal files in order to run the Citra emulator. So if your Citra emulator is not running, make sure you have Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable 2015 first and then install it and try again and see if that gets it running. If it's not running properly the first time or won't let you open it. You need this in order to install. So once you have that, or if you already have that, you're gonna install your Citra emulator wherever you want to install it. The desktop is a good place to install it, but wherever you choose to install it is completely up to you, your choice. Once you download and install your Citra emulator, you then want to open which version you want to use. And as we can see here, we have Nightly and Candy, but we're gonna be using the Nightly builds. So just open up whatever version you wanna use. Most people use Nightly, and that's what I'm gonna be using here. So go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, when you open up the Citra emulator, you get some files, Citra, Citra QT. We're gonna be opening the Citra QT shortcut. So we're gonna right click and run it as administration. But before we do that, we wanna make sure that we always run this program in administration. So we're going to right click on it. We're gonna scroll all the way down to properties and then we're gonna to go to compatibility settings. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see a little checkbox that says run as administrator. And we're gonna check that and we're gonna hit apply and then OK. This will make sure that every time we run our Citra emulator, it'll always run in administrator mode so that you make sure you're getting the best performance out of your emulator. So once you do that, you're all set. Just double click on the Citra QT and it'll open and run in administrator. So once it opens, you'll get a window like this. Apparently you won't have any games because if you haven't set the directory in a place where you have any games, then this box will just be white. Uh, but for, for me, there's games here. For you, there may be nothing here. It just may be a white box, you know, but I have games. So 
it'll be games here. If you have games and you set the directory, it'll be like this as well. But once you open it, you're going to go over into the emulation tab and then you're going to go over into your graphics settings. So you're going to hit the graphics tab after you hit configuration. So right here in the graphics settings, as you can see, we have some settings at the top, which you don't want to touch. Just leave that alone. Leave it as it is. Now, as you can see, you can you got your resolution here with your resolution. If you don't have a powerful computer that has a lot of RAM or a powerful CPU, you want to set it to the lowest setting and it'll run it very smoothly. It'll run it as clean as you are playing it on a 3ds now that actually depends on your cpu but running it in the lowest resolution will always get you the best performance depending on your computer if you have a slower running computer you want to run it in the lowest settings even if you have a fast running computer you can run it in the lowest settings and still get awesome past awesome performance out of your Citra emulator by running it in the lowest settings. But if you have a more powerful computer, then you can put it all the way in 4K and it'll still run just as it would if it were in the lowest settings. I always use the lowest settings. Sometimes I use 4K, it still runs at 60 frames a second and it still runs pretty good. But I just use the lowest settings just so that I always get the best performance. If I wanna pop it up to 4K, then I can, but it's completely up to you. And then under that, as you can see, you have the option where you can change the screen layout. And I usually use large screen and that works well for me, but this new Citra emulator nightly bill has a new window feature. It has side by side. I like it and I've been using it. And that's what we're going to be using to test out our games today. So I'm just going to choose side by side and then we can set our controls. So now, as you can see here, we have our input settings. Now this is your controller. Now whatever controller you may be using, you can set your controls here. The only thing you need to do is click in one of the areas where it's telling you to button map and then click your controller wherever button you want to be placed for that particular button. So say you click on the A and then you press the A button for your controller and it'll recognize whatever controller you want to use. Just set all of your controls and then you're set there. Hit OK and then we can get to testing the Citra emulator. OK, so now we're back at the previous window where we were before we went into the configuration and changed some settings to get our Citra emulator working at maximum optimal performance. So here we're going to try to start up a game and we're going to try to see if we can get it working. First we're going to try to start up Animals Ultra Moon and see if we can get that working. To those of you familiar with the channel, I don't call Pokemon Pokemon, I call them animals. It's just it's just something that I call it because it's practically what they are. So I call it Animals Ultra Moon. Anyways, we're going to start up animals ultra moon and see if it's working properly see if we can get it to run so as you can see it's running at a very smooth frame rate it's working perfectly fine you can close this out and let's try another game so once the citra emulator is open we're going to try running another game to see if it's working with these as well. Next, we're going to try Mario Kart 7. So let's click on it and let's try to run it. Now, as you can see, you get two messages that pop up. You want to close those out. And as you can see, it's just staying here at the loading screen. 
it's not particularly working it's not loading and it's not playing the game now okay that's fine we got one game that doesn't work so as long as it works right I mean I guess but let's try another game and let's see if it's doing the same thing let's try animals alpha sapphire and let's see if that works and as you can see once again we've got the dreaded black screen and this screen is just horrible everybody hates this screen everybody just wants the screen to go away because it stops you from being able to play your favorite games and being able to get past this black screen but of course I have a solution for this and this is fixable you can be able to play all of your games just as you did in the older Citra emulator the only thing you will need to do is go down to the links in the description and you're gonna see down in the downloads section you'll see a section for a RAR a user RAR file and you're gonna click that and you're gonna download that user RAR file you're gonna extract the user files out of that RAR those are my user files those are the files that I use to get everything working on this build you're going to download those user files once you download them you're going to extract them once you've extracted it from the raw file you're going to get a little something that looks like this you'll get this user folder so then what you want to do is you want to go to your Citri QT shortcut wherever it is if it's still in the folder you can go there and do that as well or you could just go to the nightly build folder and just move it into there but you're going to take this user folder and you're going to place it within the nightly build folder like so so once we move the user folder over into the citra nightly build folder then we're going to try running it again So try running the game that you couldn't play before and let's see if it works. So as you can see, we got past the part that we couldn't get past before the loading screen that just continued to load and now we're into the game. And as you can see, it works perfectly without any more problems. You can play your favorite games like Pokemon, Fire Emblem, or many other titles without any problems. You may get lag a little bit sometimes, but this will fix all of the problems. This will allow you to play all of your games and you'll have a very beautiful and smooth experience while doing so. Well, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope that it helped you guys. Let me know if this worked for you down in the comment section below. I'd like to know what you guys think of this update for the Citra emulator. And also, I'd like to know if this fixed your problem. I really hope so, because it works for me and it should work for you. And if you have any questions, drop those down below in the comment section as well. Also, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7, and I hope you guys enjoy playing your new Citra emulator on Nightly Bills. See you guys next time. Later.
Hey guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.